the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good and loving God, we give you thanks for this tremendous opportunity. We give you thanks for us being able to travel to Europe as a team, as a brotherhood, as a family. Open our hearts to each other. May this be experience that draws us closer to you and draws us closer to our Jesuit heritage, draws us closer to each other. Help us know each other as friends, as brothers. Guide and protect us along the way. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go ahead, Ignatius. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Yeah, you know, the whole year I've been really excited about the prospects of going to Spain, uh, mostly because I love Europe, firstly, uh, but then also just spending time with the, the soccer team, with both the students, the players, uh, and the coaches. I knew I was really going to look forward to that, but I think also um, visiting these really amazing sites with really cool people. Uh, one can go visit these sites on their own, and that's a good experience, truly. I don't want to deny that, but it's like share that experience with others uh, is a real joy. And so I was really looking forward to experiencing these things, seeing the Sword of Ignatius, going to the cave, um, and, and, and just being there with people I really enjoy, uh, making those connections. I really was looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where I had planned on making it a two-year thing, so waiting two years to go so we could plan everything out, and then, um, you know, through various situations and circumstances that kind of unfolded, we wanted to get it done in the summer, so it all happened pretty quickly. Um, I think we've, we would do some things different going forward, uh, but it was exciting, and, you know, it was just kind of a whirlwind. It's hard you know, even shortly after we got back, I couldn't believe that we were there. It felt strange that it actually happened. It was, it was a really short window that we had to work with.
It was pretty amazing, you know, having seen pictures of it all over the place and um, read up on it and things of that nature. Um, it was it was pretty cool to see it, pretty overwhelming. You know, that day that we went, it was cloudy up until about five minutes before we went in, and then the sun shines through and just you know really lit up those stained glass windows. It was it was amazing. Um, yeah, that was a pretty cool experience. Just a huge you know cavernous church that was just basically like walking through an art museum. Yeah, that first day, I think we are like fighting jet lag big time. Uh, but then we got that great experience of the evening getting to be at Sagrada Familia, this incredible experience of the architecture of Gaudi. Gaudi himself, they're trying to move towards canonization because they recognize his holiness. And I think he can recognize his holy feelings and desires in that building as well. Uh, I think one of the most beautiful moments of that, that experience was really looking at that western stained glass wall inside and just the redness of it, the red and yellow and oranginess of it, and just watching the sunset behind it, and just a glow uh, with brilliance, a glow with beauty. Uh, for me, I think that was like the most beautiful moment of my entire summer, actually, uh, just staring at that stained glass window and the light uh, coming from it. Um, I liked visiting all the all the uh, churches, like Sagrada Familia. That was super cool. Uh, just kind of being there with the team, it was really special. 